Hello YouTube, how are we all doing? Today, we've, uh, today's episode is, uh, yeah, Stratocaster. What do we think of this thing? Looks alright, doesn't it? It's got dings and bangs all over it. I don't know if it's coming out in this light, but dings and bangs all over it. Um, let's get up to the neck. Nice rosewood neck on it. Filthy dirty. The frets are rotten, disgusting. You can see the filth all over them. So this is from the pawn shop. Just picked this up this morning because I was very interested in it. And here it is. Yeah, it looks all right, doesn't it? And that is the part that interested me. Squire series, Fender Stratocaster, made in Japan. So, I've done some digging, and like, there was a few things I thought, well, oh, I've never seen that on the uh, on the Japanese guitars, apart from the JVs. But the JV has a different style logo on it. My son pointed that out, he knew all about it. So, this logo is slightly different. So I went on the internet, checked a few things out, and, uh, Apparently it's right. They did it in Mexico as well. There was a problem in the Mexican strats in the early 90s and they sent American parts down to Mexico. Blah, blah, blah. This is, how, this is what the internet told me. Anyway, so, problem I've got is we've got a truss rod here. That's yeah, fine. And this, this would be a 92, 93 Japanese Stratocaster made in Fuji Gen Factory. This is what I've been told. So then we come down to here but we've got the little the little cutout where the truss rods would be, you know. So why is that scratch plate on there? So is it a marriage? Has that been messed with? These are the questions we must ask ourselves. Right, let's turn it over. I'll show you the back end of it. Someone started to sand it down and fucked it up and left it alone. And this is this is the state it's in. It's all a bit manky and mangy. Um, if you look at that. You can see that they've sanded it. It's smooth as anything, so they've I mean they've got it up to 2000 and just like sod this, we're not gonna you know strip it, whoever it was. Nick's got dings in it and, and things in it, but the neck is really lovely. I mean look at that wood man, that's lovely. Japanese trapezoid tuners. I've got them on a couple of other Jap strats I've got, so I know they're right. Serial numbers down here. Let's get the old torch on here. Where's the serial number? Is that torch the number at all? No light. Doesn't really help, does it? Made in Japan. M serial number, which means it's 9293. I've looked that up. So we've got that much information. And then, so we're still puzzled about as the two, like, you know, why the scratch plate is, like, got that cut out on it. So I haven't taken it apart yet. That will happen in due course. Anyway, I just want to show you this thing. Pawn shop find. Don't pass them by. Remember, the pawn shop is, can be your friend. But uh, the rule on the pawn shop is only play and bid with what you can afford to lose. Yeah, so this is a bit, let's see if we can get the light there, see the, yeah. It's like, the, the paint is kind of ripply. There's lots of scratches, that's, that's, that's mangy. I've plugged it in, it all works. Anyway, there it is. So we're gonna rip this apart and see what it is underneath it. But it's cool, I mean that was like, hello. And then I saw that, oh hello. And then we did some more digging and the Japanese gold spaghetti logo, which is what that is, um, with that on it, was for the domestic Japanese market, apparently. So if anybody else has got any other information on these guitars, please feel free to stick a comment in the box below. And in the meantime, thanks for watching, and we will be taking this apart soon and checking it all out. But today, that's as far as we're going. So I've got to go to work now. All right, hope you're well, YouTube people. Be lucky out there.